Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Rath from Mount Tabor School Library, and today's story is There Was an Old Mermaid Who Swallowed a Shark by Lucille Colandra, illustrated by Jared Lee. And look at those end pages filled with pictures of under the sea. A shark! A mermaid! There's the title page. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. That great white shark, he left no mark. How can that be? at 15 feet long and 5,000 pounds beats me. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a squid. That's what she did, she swallowed a squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Did the squid swim really fast? It propelled itself with a mighty jet blast. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a fish, a tropical fish. This was her wish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Sharks have rows and rows of teeth. Does that mean they chomp and chew what they eat? Nope, we swallow it whole. Now that's a feat. There was an old mermaid who swallowed an eel. She let out a squeal when she swallowed that eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. So why did the eel look so bright? Its body creates fluorescent light. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a crab. It was tough to grab, but she swallowed that crab. She swallowed the crab to tickle the eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Did the crab lose its claw when it was snared? No need to worry, I can grow a spare. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a sea star. She didn't swim far to swallow that star. She swallowed the sea star to play with the crab. She swallowed the crab to tickle the eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Why didn't the sea star swim away? Without a brain, it's hard to say. 
There was an old mermaid who swallowed a clam. It was fun to cram her mouth with a clam. There was an old mermaid who loved to spend her whole day playing pretend that everything under the water was her friend. Wish we could learn more about these underwater creatures. Turn the page for extra features. And at the back, there's some information about all the creatures mentioned in the book. Sharks, squid, tropical fish, eels, crabs, sea stars, and clams. The end of There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Shark. Maybe you could write your old, own old lady book. Maybe she swallows a butterfly and she goes out in the garden. Think about it. You could come up with your own story. Thanks for listening.